This video assumes you've already collected the spleen as shown in the culture dish. First step is to weigh the spleen to get a total weight. Then using a scalpel, dissect the spleen about the center and remove a small piece as shown on this image. The goal is to take a piece small enough to be able to create a single cell suspension but not so large that it is hard to chop up. You must weigh the separated piece carefully so we know its precise weight. The next step is to take the mass of spleen and add it to the Medicon device. Add the piece of spleen into the top opening of the Medicon as shown. You can see how the Medicon works in the green figure below. There is a circular sieve that will rotate and grind up the tissue into single cells. Add one mil of saline to the Medicon after you add the tissue. This will become the fluid which will contain the final cell suspension. Now place the Medicon into the Medi machine by carefully placing it into the slot with the small hole facing the front. Place a lid onto the Medicon so the top is covered. Now you can switch on the main power switch on the right side of the machine. To activate the grinding there's a knob on the back which you turn from standby to run. Do this for 30 seconds. We removed the base from this unit so you can see what is inside. The grating plate spins, chopping up the tissue and allowing the single cells to be deposited into the liquid below the sieve. You access this volume of cells via a small hole in the top of the unit. To do this, remove the lid of the Medicon and place a pasta pipette into the hold at the front and gently pump the pasta pipette up and down to collect the suspended cells placing them into a test tube. It may be necessary to rinse the Medicon out with one or two mils of saline. We normally pass the suspended cells through a 60 micron mesh filter that we place into a test tube as shown here. This removes large clumps that might have passed through the Medicon. Finally, you should count the cell suspension on a Calder counter and obtain a cell count number for that suspension. The sample is now ready for staining and flow cytometry.